Welcome back to week two of the 1.6 Min Max Guide. Last time we did a little fishing and mining and pondered how good smoking catfish could be, so today we're going to go after the bait maker and fish smoker and hopefully increase our profits by a huge margin. Eventually we'll save up for the desert bus and make it to the bottom of the mines to begin our skull cavern dives. But for now we're going to do a little fishing. Okay, I think for sure I'm going to catch catfish today. And then do I need to sell anything? We need the steel axe upgrade tomorrow, so I need... 5,000 gold. I'm gonna go for the fish smoker tomorrow, so most likely I will want to sell all of my fish that I can, except for the chubs. So I'm just gonna sell everything because we're gonna want as we're gonna need to sell some more money that from the fish we catch today anyway for the fish smoker. So selling all of that is fine. And then I don't want to check the mail again because I don't need that 500 gold yet. We'll check that tomorrow. And then tomorrow we'll also get the iron axe upgrade catch some catfish and hopefully I didn't lock myself out here I think I can go around this way <laughs> it's a maze but we're good I'm not gonna bring my furnace with me the only reason I bring the furnace with me is smelting copper and I don't really need copper bars for anything right now but yeah always be smelting is probably a good rule to live by I did not buy the deluxe bait the deluxe bait was from treasure chests NPC must have moved my chest I don't remember it being right there oh one more and I would have gotten to fishing level nine that other night all right, so we've got 5,000 more XP until we hit fishing level 10. Pretty close, actually. All right, let's get some catfish going. Catfish shouldn't be too tricky anymore. Although, <laughs> I might need Angelina to come here and tell the fish to behave. All right, there we go. That one behaved enough. And see, we're getting quite a bit of deluxe bait from treasure chests. Oh, that is so nice that NPCs move chests now instead of destroying them. That is really nice. Is this another catfish? It's just a not-so-feisty catfish. Aw, uh, that would have been a good opportunity to try to get an iridium catfish. 450, and then if I smoke it times two is 900. 900 gold per catfish. Almost a thousand gold per catfish is kind of insane. Like, I feel like this is a really good way to make money early on now with the fish smoker. Yeah, like 50 catfish in one day with targeted bait. Yeah, I'm working towards targeted bait, but while it is raining, I do want to take advantage of a day of catfishing. Jewels of the Sea. Um, I believe if you read a book you've already read, I will get some fishing XP for it. I think it's like 250 XP or something, which isn't bad. That's, that's a good chunk. I think it's like 5% of 5,000. That's so 5% of the way to level 10. Getting these books is going to make it maybe possible to get the fishing level 10 today or tomorrow. Probably not today. But definitely if I fish tomorrow, and tomorrow is most likely going to be stone fishing. Or making it down in the mines more for ice pip fishing. Because I need iron anyway for the bait crafter. Targeted bait gives you like 10 to 15 bait per fish. Interesting. What is this like? What's the like lore for targeted bait? Are you turning the fish into bait and then the fish are eating their own like species? Like their own like brethren? Is that how it works? Like in Pokemon Go, like what is the candy made out of? I guess the fish eat themselves, yeah. Bait maker to use insert any fish into the machine will then produce insert fish name here bait, which will increase the chance to catch that fish. That seems pretty good. Maybe the fish smells itself and thinks, oh boy, easy meal. <laughs> it's possible. Almost 10 catfish and it's only two o'clock. We're doing really well today. Probably get like 20 something catfish. It's okay, GB1 Reinwald. Oh, there's bubbles. Oh, those are so good. Bubbles. Oh, the bubbles lasted for like a second. How rude. Rude bubbles. Yeah, GG to the bubbles and GG to my overexertion. I've used my last piece of bait. Hold on. All right, the bar is going to not be as large now, which is fine. But the catfish, I might need to focus a little bit more for. It doesn't make that much of a difference. Hello, Leia. Oh, that... Oh. <laughs> I might even miss this one. This is a feisty one. Come on now, be nice. Yeah, <laughs> that was a feisty one. <laughs> That's okay, missing one out of 11 is fair. Perfectly fine. Nothing's going wrong. We're at 12. 12 is like the minimum of what I wanted to catch, so we're doing well. This song from Super Mario 64 is also a banger and slaps for no reason. I mean, that's the goal of this song. My playlist is just like a bunch of banger video game soundtrack um, musics. 
All right, if I'm getting this fish smoker recipe tomorrow from Willy, then I don't need to pass, no, I don't need to go home and sell stuff, which means I can pass out. The start of the day, we had some really good luck and then it kind of like tapered off. I guess that's how it goes. 12 a.m., okay. So no more catfish. I don't think it's worth it to walk to the ocean though, that's the thing. But what we could do is go back to the farm and get organized. Is it worth it or should I try to go for some more fish? We can get more treasure chests. We'll pass out here because there's no reason I need to walk back to the farm unless I want to like chop some trees, but we can do that tomorrow morning. Oh wait, I can't chop trees. I can't chop trees. I have to... If I want to get the beach bridge, I have to go to Clint's, grab my axe, chop some trees, and then go back to Willy and, and sell stuff, and then back to Clint's. I think that's going to be have to be the order. But the axe is ready tomorrow. The axe is ready tomorrow. So that's one saving grace of why we might be able to do the beach bridge and get the targeted bait then. And the beach bridge should also help with the crab pot bundle, I believe, because we'll have more space for foraging. Also, if we can buy some crop seeds tomorrow with our remainder amount of money, I would like to get um, farming XP. Only have like 200 wood. Okay, so we might have to chop a few trees if we want to unlock the beach bridge. Got fishing level 9 there. That's good. We almost got 10,000 gold from all that. All that fish. So we should be able to get the iron axe upgrade plus the fish smoker plus some farming XP. Copper axe is ready. Uh, let's check the luck today. It's a super luck day. Let's go. Okay. Today is a mind day for sure. Today is a mind day for sure. It's like, wow. The background's different for that. Okay, all of this junk I'm selling to Clint. Furnaces I'm bringing with me to the mines as well as my copper and coal supply. I think we can just head up to the mines now and I think we're chilling. Ho for the two seeds. Yeah, they're, yeah, you're right. Ho. Thank you. Ho is a good idea to bring with. And then besides that, I think we're good. Don't think I need anything else. Got some coal, carrot seeds. I'll have to plant the carrot seeds later. The main thing today is mines because it's a super luck day. I'll just have to get the clints before four o'clock and let's mine. Ladder, another ladder. Oh, today is gonna be a good day, I think. If we keep getting a ladder like that. Oh, freebie, 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 freebie. Okay, and now it'll take us time to get to Clint's. Okay, community center. I have to remember community center bundle. Touch the bundle. Takes so much time to walk over here, but we have to. There we go. All right now we're going to Clint's. We're gonna get, we don't need to buy any ores. Passing by bubbles. All right, we've got ourselves our copper axe, and I'm not going to worry about the targeted bait yet. I'm just going to go ahead and give the axe right back to him. So, well, actually, it'll help with the crab pot. There's really no good way to do this if, unless I come back here, but let's try to get the beach bridge done if we can. We'll, we'll see. Um, I need to go to Pierre's for seeds, back to the bus stop to get the forgeables, and then all the way to the beach bridge after chopping some trees. Is there enough time in the day for that? That's the question. Okay, I need to leave 5,000 gold. That should do. 66, okay, lucky number 66. Oh, I had these to sell to Clint. Okay, we don't need to do that. We don't need to worry about that. We can sell those at a different time. I have 5,000, that's all I need. We have 66 lucky number of kale seeds. I don't want too many kale seeds or else it's gonna get overwhelming to plant them all. I won't be doing strawberries, definitely won't be doing strawberries. I don't think the strawberries are worth it. I'm just doing the kale for the XP. The kale is pretty good for XP. Okay, I'm not going to water them today because we have our mines waiting, our mines expedition, and we also need more wood. And I get enough wood. We're at 96, so 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, that should be 300 for the beach bridge. I'm not going to the beach bridge today, I just wanted enough wood for it, that's all. 5,000 gold and the axe and the iron. And we should be good. I just need to get back to Clint's before he closes. And he closes very soon. And we need that. We need that steel axe. So I think this is the right move. Still don't know if Penny has always sat on the bridge there, if that's new. Okay, steel axe. Let's go. That's all I need from Clint. And now we're going back to the mines. I know we wasted a lot of the day today running around, but I think it's worth it because we needed that 300 wood. We need to start growing crops. I didn't water the crops just because I want to save as much time as possible. Like I probably didn't even need to plant the crops today. I probably could have done that tomorrow. 
But hey, we're 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 doing fine. Oh, I left my coal at home. That's no big deal. We need to focus on getting down. All right, let's start getting iron. Can I make bombs? I can make cherry bombs only. Well, there's another mining level. All right, dust sprites are good. We got monster. Oh, that is so huge. Monsters have a small chance to drop double loot. That is huge to get this early. That's really nice. And really our goal is floor 60. Well, we have enough iron for crafting the bait maker. And we have the wood for the bridge. So ice pip, I guess, is our next step. While it's super luck, I want to keep trying to get a little bit deeper in the mines if I can. It is indeed getting late. For the fact that we... Spent a lot of time elsewhere on the map today. We did a pretty good job at the mines, probably due to that super luck. And also probably got a good head start on the dust sprites. All right, I'm gonna get those juicy looking crates over there. No, I didn't mean to go down the ladder. I want to get the crate, shoot. I didn't even know there was a ladder. Oh well, that's unfortunate. All right, we can reset floor 60 for dust sprites, C5. Unless I just get like insanely lucky here. Uh, let's just reset the floors. All right, now we decide what we want to bring home with me. Actually, yeah, just in case I decide to do fishing, let's keep the furnaces on me. All right, that'll do, I believe. I believe there's nothing else I really need to bring home with me. So let's pass out. Let's see if I can get like two more dust sprites. Nope. All right, well, today is neutral. So the plan is wizard, museum, beach, then Willy. I'll bring like some of my, I don't know, smallmouth bass or something if I need a little extra money from Willy. I'm also curious to see if we can sell this row. Real question is what, after I do all these chores, what am I going to do at the end of the day? Mine? Because I think fishing is off the table now. I'd rather just catfish tomorrow for money. I think mine to try to get down to floor 80 and then do a little void spirit farming. I think mining's probably the move today at the end of the day. Okay, we met the wizard. Very nice. I'm gonna grab the artifact. Museum opens at 8, so we can get inside. Alright, let's get this done and over with first. And I've got a good amount of inventory space here. Stone? I think Willie's gonna get one of those stones for the 100 gold. I'm gonna get some of these clams sold to him. Alright, sell stuff to Willie. Sonar bobber, 250 gold. And that's enough for a crab pot. And then I don't really need to sell anything else, do I? Okay, so I'll be able to craft the thing tomorrow. I can craft it right now, actually. All right, bait maker coming up. Leave that in there for now. I'll turn the catfish into bait tomorrow, first thing in the morning, so I can guarantee that I get like a good amount instead of like getting five all the time from them. All right, I'm gonna be mining, not fishing today. Let's set up the crab pot. Actually, let's use the deluxe bait on the crab pot because not getting trash right now is kind of huge. We're getting the mine carts early as possible. All right, and I have. Good amount of chubs, but we can start eating the parsnips as well if I need more energy. All right, anything else? Oh, water and crops. Water and crops today. About to say, it's only 11. I haven't done anything today, but we need to water the crops. It doesn't take very long. It's the point of no return for the chests. I'm slowly inching my way away from the chest, slowly but surely. Yeah, I don't think I'm for... I think I just mine for the rest of today and then we're good. We're in a good place. And then tomorrow I can turn my pickaxe into steel. I probably won't go higher than the steel pickaxe. Still can't believe we got this Neptune's Glaive. I'm so happy about that. I mean, we'll want copper and iron for basic sprinklers, most likely. Oh, here's some good dust sprite farming. There's our ladder. Let's get some of those dust sprites. Why do the dust sprites always run away? I never understood that. They're monsters. They should not be afraid to die. We learned, yeah, we learned quite a bit about the bait, indeed. We certainly did. Got my theme song playing, let's go. It's, I don't know, I consider Captain Canadia a pirate. Or Diaz the pirate, the hedgehog. Pirate hat. There's a boss slime. Oh, mm, I'm skipping the boss slime. Sorry, Sonata. I don't know if that was a good idea or not, but... I'm more focused on rushing down. No boss slime for me. I leveled up on mining, that's good. I don't know, it just doesn't seem worth it to go way out of my way for a boss slime. Like, sure, I might get, like, a ring that'll help me for the entire game. And, uh, something is I don't want to make it down to floor 120 until I'm done farming Void Spirits and, um, Dust Spirits. Or else it'll double the health of them, which is not good. Not what I'm looking for. I got a freebie. Doing pretty well at the mines today. I think floor 100 was gonna be the goal for today, if possible. At least floor 80. 
At least for like 85 and 95, so we have some good floors for um, Void Spirit farming. Um, Savage Ring is pretty good. And um, farming them at the same time gets us Void Essence, and Void Essence sells for like a good amount of money. And remember, the goal is perfection. And if we can save money by completing like a monster slaying goal, like save 500,000 gold, then, you know, it's worth it. I don't know if the monster goals count as like one or how it ticks up the counter or what happens. We're going to clear every rock on this floor before I get the ladder. There it is, finally. Well, that made up for our initial good luck. Yeah, the 1.6 update does feel like an entirely new game. It's, it's crazy. I would have called it Stardew 2 point though, not 1.6. <laughs> yeah, I assume Concerned Ape wanted to make it feel like very unique and different. I got Firewalker boots, a little extra protection. Sure, we'll take it. Can we get crabs from these ones, from the lava crabs? I think so. Crab would be nice for the crab pot bundle. Oh, there's so many items and I don't have any inventory space. Oh, hardwood. Single piece of hardwood is kind of valuable. All right, there's the ladder. Floor 85 is the goal here. I don't think I'll be able to make it past floor 85. All right, we're at floor 85, cool. I will farm this spirit here. There's two more to farm here. Look at that! Streamer luck! Prismatic Shard! Let's go! Prismatic Shard and a shirt. I swear, it's not rigged. I swear. Alright, I can- and a diamond. And a diamond. What the heck? What is this luck? I swear. This is crazy. Sport shirt? I don't really like the sport shirt. <laughs> wow. That is crazy. Prismatic Shard. If we unlock the desert, we can just get the galaxy sword right away. I really should smelt the copper for basic sprinklers. I really shouldn't be using it up like this. Oh, freebie. Oh, floor 90. Here we come. I will craft the staircase if I have to. Oh, that's so lucky. Look at that luck right there. All right. I'm not going to grab the obsidian edge yet, but obsidian edge is going to be a step up from the Neptune's glaive, even though it's giving me plus two to fence and 25 crit power. It only does 18 to 35 damage. The Obsidian Edge does more than that, I believe. 30 to 45 damage. 30 to 45 damage. Yeah, that, that's way more. Okay, so today was a good day. Today was a very good day. Get two more smelting. Okay, that's fair. That's good. Level 4 mining, level 3 combat. All right, that was a pretty good day. And then I think today is going to be all about catfishing. The bookseller. I'm going to ignore the bookseller today, most likely. Yeah, because the steel axe is ready, but I don't need to pick it up today. I can pick it up tomorrow. I don't want to have an interruption in catfishing. All right, we've got the bait maker. I'm going to bring catfish with me to turn into the bait. It's a good luck day, so we might get a good amount of treasure chests. Okay, I think today's just all about catching catfish. And maybe I'll get some lucky bubbles. We'll see. Got that. I didn't even need the catfish bait. Look at that. A lucky 10 to start off with is always nice. All right, now I'm going to use the catfish bait. And hopefully this helped. And of course we got followed by a five, which is fine. There's a catfish. There's another catfish. Catfish bait is seeming pretty promising so far. Somebody tell Angelina to get in the stream and tell the fish to behave. Oh no. It's just going to be me f focusing on catching these catfish because they are quite feisty, even at fishing level nine. So far, this is promising. Thank you, GBO and Ryan, for the fish behave. We <laughs> got an ancient doll from a chest. That's crazy. So far, I've only gotten catfish. This is kind of crazy. It's another catfish. Wow. This is this is OP, guys. <laughs> We're going to get so much money from smoked catfish. This is definitely the strat fish. This is definitely the strat. Is it 100% catfish? Like, what? This is crazy. They're all catfish. The Discord is saying for normal fish, it's nearly 100%. Wow. This is insane. This is absolutely bonkers. What the heck? They're all catfish. Every time we catch a catfish, it's 900 gold once we smoke it. This is insane. I'm not even commenting on getting like magma geodes from the treasure chest because I don't even care at this point. The catfish are just so insane. There are some bubbles over there, but I'm not reaching them. Well, I could technically. Oh, I, I missed the treasure chest. Oh, well, I'm going to go for the bubbles. Can I go for the bubbles? No, it's blocked off. Shoot. Okay. Why shouldn't go for the bubbles? I'm just addicted to them. It's not even 10 o'clock and we've already caught like 10 catfish today. Let's put another one in the thing. Yeah, it works almost instantly. We're just getting a crazy amount of catfish here. 
Okay, I probably shouldn't turn too many into bait because this will... We just want it to last us the day, basically. This is like the gauntlet of catfishes. There's... I just, just have to keep catching them back to back without any rest period. This is tricky. This is an amazing discovery. The targeted bait is crazy. Yeah, I haven't even gotten algae or anything yet. This is insane. This is so insane. The problem is it's not guaranteed to rain every day. But on the rainy days, catching catfish seems the way to go. Well, at least this is improving my catfish skills. There's already an insane amount of catfish to see. This is fun, discovering the strategies as I go along. Yeah, I wish... Like, imagine if this worked on the cave fish. Okay, first green algae. That's fine. That was like my first green algae. Still no iridium catfish. That's my goal, to catch one iridium catfish. Smoked iridium catfish is gonna sell for like over a thousand. Oh, is it not a catfish? Is it actually not a catfish? What the heck? We finally got a chub. An iridium chub instead of a catfish. I still have the bait. So the chances are like over 90%, like nine out of 10 times getting a catfish here, which is pretty good. I, you know, I like to see the deluxe bait because I'm like, the deluxe bait's pretty good as well. But no, the catfish bait is way better. Yeah, the chub's for the energy to help catch more catfish, that's right. All right, this one needs to behave, I just need to get good. All right, this one's behaving. Yeah, we won't need more than one bait maker because the return is almost like instant. It only takes like 10 minutes to craft. Well, that one could have been a perfect almost. I wonder if the quality bobber is worth it now then for iridium fish. I must have gotten unlucky with the stonefish bait, I'm not sure. Maybe. But today is an insanely profitable day. We're not even through half of the day, and I've caught 15 catfish, I think. Let's go, Iridium catfish! Let's go, Iridium catfish! Gotta leave it in my hot bar to flex. I'll eat the chub. Yeah, smokers, I will need multiple of. It takes 50 minutes to smoke a fish, but what I picture myself doing is having, like, a few of them, like, near me while I fish, and just, like, intermittently do it. So we can make almost like 25,000 gold a day just by catching catfish. Is that better than void spirit farming and dust spirit farming? It must be. You already caught more than 20 catfish today? I started with 15, but I put like 5 through the maker. So 37 minus 10 is 20, 27 catfish today. This is insane. <laughs> Oh my goodness, these catfish are so lucrative. Wow. We have seven pieces of bait left. I should throw another one in. But smoked iridium catfish, those sell for 1,200 gold, over a thousand, which is kind of insane. I keep saying insane, but it is. It is like, what the heck is this dude doing? I'm getting rich. I want to try to go for another perfect catch on a catfish. But it takes a lot of luck to get it. These catfish are probably giving me a good amount of XP as well, so I wouldn't be surprised if I hit fishing level 10 today. Do we have a chub? I think we have a chub. We actually got a chub for once, wow. Yeah, it seems like almost 9 out of 10 are catfish. Oh, that's my last piece of catfish bait. That going. I was not expecting to catch over 50 catfish, but we're certainly catching over 50 catfish in a single day. Now imagine doing this with bubbles and how many catfish we would get. I don't even want to think about it. So we might be able to just buy Joja very soon and unlock the desert bus. The problem is I wanted to get that free 15,000 by completing the... Oh wow, it's a bream, not a catfish. The problem is I want to complete the crab pop bundle so I can get the free minecarts, but at this point I don't know if it's even worth it. Well, Cavern Dives are definitely still probably the way to go in terms of profit, because that's almost like a hunt, like, Gold cavern dives are over 100,000 gold a day. Catfish seems like they're gonna amount to probably less than 100,000 gold in a single day. Hey, fishing level 10! Let's go. We got fishing level 10 on day 11. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Should we go catch the legend? Nah, I wanna see how a, I wanna see what a full day of catfish um, amounts to. Next rainy day, I'll go for the legend at the very start of the day. This song from Terraria is a banger because it's a mashup with Dungeon Defenders. I think I've gotten like 50 catfish today, which is... <laughs> which is so many catfish for a single day. This one's not a catfish, however. This one's like a bream or chub or something else. I think it's a bream. Or a shad. I got a dino egg from the treasure chest. That's an interesting find. 
Is it worth making more bait when they stop at 12? Perhaps. Um, when they stop at 12, I might run home and see about... Oh no, I can't sell things tonight because we need fishing bonus. We have to sell them all tomorrow. The problem is I don't know when it's going to rain next. And most likely I'm just going to get to Skull Cavern soon and make money from Skull Cavern. Hey, let's go. Perfect catfish number two. Hold on. Hold on. I want to get the bus repair from the community center for the free crystallarium. That is such a good... I don't know if I thought about this, but... Yeah, I will have to farm jelly for smokers. I'm surprised I didn't get any river jelly, but maybe the catfish bait affects that. I want to do the bus repair from the community center so that I get my free crystallarium. I think that's the move. I won't make any more bait after this, but it's good to have a good amount on me. Just for next time, so I can sell all of my catfish and then just use the bait for next time. That one's a chub. Right, I doubt we can catch catfish, but I want to see. I'm gonna give it one more try, and then if not, then I'm assuming no, we can't catch catfish. Should try to reach floor 100 for a higher chance of cave jelly. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to fish in the mines for cave jelly anyway. So tomorrow's probably gonna be fishing in the mines. Okay, it looks like no catfish. Let's try to get some chubs, I suppose. Yeah, I'm gonna pick up my machines here. That was so close to falling in the drink. I like, my heart skipped a beat there. That was scary. Maybe I shouldn't place them next to water anymore, just in case. That was scary. Game, don't scare me like that. One more. One more green algae. And then we pass out. Okay. That was a good day of catfishing. 54 catfish on hand. Level 10 fishing for fish worth 50% more, of course. Wow. Okay, that was... That was something. So today we can sell those catfish to Willy for an absurd amount of money. I just... Uh, I want to get the steel pickaxe, but at the same time, also, I don't know if it's worth it. I feel like we should get it today. Or else we're going to have to wait for the festival tomorrow, and we won't be able to get it at the festival. Catfish are for selling to Willy. Bait maker. I don't think I'm using the bait maker today. We're not fishing today, most likely. It's really tough to know whether or not I want to... Diamonds are 3,000. So oh, yeah, we have diamonds. We have lots of diamonds and gems to sell. And tomorrow I'm going to try to go for cave jellies, I guess. I feel like for long term, I need to get the iron pickaxe upgrade today. I just, I just need to. I can water my crops later today, at the end of today. Okay, I think we're set. Okay, let's get some good luck here. Get to floor 105 even. I say one o'clock is the cutoff in terms of time. Come on now, give me a ladder. Give me a ladder. A super luck day. We should be getting good ladder luck. All right, there we go, finally. All right, freebie all the way at the end of the floor. Opening geode seems to be seated. Okay, interesting. This one was in... Oh, I didn't bring my stone with me. Reset. That's the day reset. I didn't bring my stone with me. We need to skip that floor. It looks like mine floors are still seated because that one was a monster floor our first time. But I need to remember my stone. I need to remember the stone. And maybe we'll get better luck on this first floor here. Yep, we got better luck on that first floor there. Nice. Wish I had some Joja Cola to get me through this floor because it's such a long walk. Okay, I've got my staircases now. Okay, this floor is always a bit of a headache. Facing downwards does feel a little bit better, I think, after getting used to it. All right, we've made good progress on that first five floors, which is a good floor to bomb. I'm gonna ignore the gold ore because it takes so long to mine. Lighter, that's so good. Worried about that floor. Ooh, diamond. I'm gonna craft a staircase for this floor, and then also try to get to floor 105. Should be able to do that before one o'clock. And then it's probably where I'll leave off because that gives us three floors to reset for void spirits. Three ladder. Okay, two more floors. That's all we need. One more floor. That's all we need. Oh, no. I don't want to deal with those bats. Do I have any bombs? No copper for cherry bombs. Okay, that's a lucky ladder. I just want to get out of there because I was running out of health. And time. We need to get going. Just the five emeralds and five diamonds is enough for the pickaxe upgrade. So I don't have to stop at Willy's. I can just stop at Clint's and then go to Willy's after. So that's really good. I will sell everything that I can to Clint. I've got the iron bars. That's the important thing. I don't know why I didn't go down that path. That's a mistake. There we go. All right, sell the diamonds, sell the emeralds. I'm gonna do a trip to drop off stuff at the museum here. And then I'll go back to Clint's. And we'll just might as well open up all the geodes here. Did we just get 60, 20, or I think we just got 20 gold ore from a single geode. That's pretty crazy. Wow. Okay, steel pickaxe. Keep a marble if you get one. Okay. 
I'll also keep that ocean stone, but I think it's required for like a sturgeon fish pond quest or one of them. All right, I don't need the summer seeds right now. I might as well take them home, I suppose. Hope I have enough room for whatever I need from Willy. I think I'm just buying the recipe from Willy, so I don't really need room for anything. I can also give Elliot a stone and get the money from these. All right, we need to sell about half of the catfish. Sell the row first, actually. There we go. Fish smoker recipe, let's go. All right, I'm gonna go open up the secret woods now. I guess today's just gonna be chopping trees and stuff. Gotta water the crops first. Um, master bait, or not master bait, a deluxe bait. <laughs> I'm used to Terraria calling it master. Keep that in the fishing pole. And yes, I've got the carrots now for energy. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, Sonata. Oh, today is a cart lady day, yeah. We can take a little peruse while we're here. Hopefully it's, there's not. Hopefully there's nothing like crazy good that I will, will want. I think we're good. We're safe. All right, secret woods time. Ooh, some mining experience. Don't mind if I do. I love the new little books. They're, they're fun. What the heck, this is the 1.6 update. Let's go for the secret. Even though this is not my best use of time, we'll go back into the town and go check out the secret. Secret woods, I believe it's always dark at night. Yeah, or maybe not. Maybe it, Maybe that's new, Sonata. You might be right, actually. I think it used to be like where it wasn't dark and it was just like still lit up for some reason. Okay, can I get this secret? I don't have a pickaxe upgrade. Shoot. Okay, we can't do that just yet. Um, can I do the one up here for the price ticket and start getting mystery boxes? I can do that. I can do this one. It's a bit dark though. Price ticket. Some trees and hardwood, don't mind if I do. Inventory full, throw the trash. It's so hard to see. Is this a choppable tree? It is. We're at 42 hardwood, so we can craft three smokers now. I just need the cave jelly. Let's see if we can return back home. I believe since I got my first prize ticket, mystery boxes can appear now. Let's get organized. Okay, this is all fishing stuff. This is all resources and gems and minerals. This is crops, forage, and tools. I think everything is nice and neat now. I just got a pirate hat? Let's go. How lucky is that? I got my hat. The pirate hat. What the heck? How did I just get a pirate hat from nowhere? That is crazy, actually. I, is it from the tree? I got it from the tree? That is kind of insane. Well, we have that now. One more tree, one more tree. Concerned Ape gave it to me. Thank you, Concerned Ape. I appreciate it. I appreciate the little gift. All right, plus one ore per vein for sure. Level three foraging. All right, festival day. Today is going to be the cave grinding day. So let's start by checking out what luck it is. I, I think today should be pretty easy. I'm just going to be fishing at the caves for most of the day. Fishing at floor 100 for cave jelly. Okay, I will. Yeah, if I get a cave jelly, I will eat it right away. I think I think it's I definitely agree. Travel of life. I definitely think it's worth it. And it takes um, 10 hardwood, so we should bring 30 hardwood with and all the other ingredients. And coal, and coal, because coal is what it's fueled by. All right, and we just hope for cave jellies. The chance isn't increased the further I go, right? I don't think so. We're just going to be getting a lot of trash today. Linus makes his joke about how the kids need to clean up the town. I'm cleaning up the lava lake here, goddammit. <laughs> Leave me alone. Oh, lava eel. Well, this is an easy lava eel. All right, we got a little lava eel. Maybe I should cast out my line just in case I do get lava eels, they'll sell for higher. Yeah, let's do that. It doesn't take too much longer to max cast. Oh, going further increases lava eel chance and I don't want that. So let's just stick right here. Yeah, I'll smoke the lava eel. Why not? <laughs> Come on, cave jelly, I really need you. It's a 1 out of 20 chance. Like rolling a d20 in Dungeons and Dragons. I gotta get that nat 20 someday. Come on. 2,000 gold for a basic smoke lava eel. Nice. Come on, cave jelly. Where are you? No, not another lava eel. All right, that one we missed. That's fine. Another one. The lava eel is so tough. Both are 1 in 20 odds. You got three eels before one jelly. Wow. That's a little embarrassing. Well, not embarrassing, but it's just like, it's just like, wow. 
If I don't get any cave jelly by like three o'clock, I say reset. We'll see. I just lost 4,000 gold. I could have gotten 4,000 gold if I didn't miss those two lava eels. That is unfortunate. Maybe the iridium rod would be worth it. Not blessed by iron Jesus. Nope. All right, there's one. Meeting it right away. Now we have a one out of 10 chance instead of one out of 20 chance. So I think it's well worth it doubling the chance. And we just need three more. So within, on average, we should be getting this in 30 catches, which we should be able to do it in a day's worth of fishing here. Come on now, be nice. All right, there we go. There's another cave jelly. Oh, we can start smoking fish now. Let's go. Hold on. Fish smoker. All right, iridium catfish is first up. I don't have any carrots on me. Or else I'd be eating the carrots. Oh yeah, lava eel first. Lava eel's more worth it than the iridium catfish. That is true. Proceeds to toss the stack of catfish into the lava. Oh no. That would be unfortunate. All right, let's smoke the lava eel. All right, that's two. Hold on, let's craft another one. Start smoking the catfish. All right, now we just smoke the catfish. This is an interesting strategy for sure. I think it was going to be worth it and pay off in the end. And there's another cave jelly. All right. And then once those finish, I can get out of here probably and go do something else. Yeah, the smoke has a nice animation on it. It's funny. <laughs> nice to have burning fish on me. Hey, we got another cave jelly. I wonder if I should keep fishing for... Wow, we got two cave je jellies in a row now. Okay, I think that's enough for now. Okay. Bring them up here. And let's reset floor 65 for dust sprites. There's some dust rights on this floor. Uh, I don't have the pickaxe, remember? So it's going to be a little bit tricky. If I find like a diamond or something, then it'll be a little unfortunate. But we can get a good amount of dust sprites done today. Four smokers, do I hear five? Not yet. I heard a single dust sprite. Wow, and I'm walking all the way down for it. I think I may have gotten all four dwarf, dwarf scrolls now. Smokers are kind of OP. I mean, they're going, they're going fast too. And we're going to sell this for like... Almost enough for the bus. But you know what's even more OP than smokers? Skull cavern dives. And the burglar's ring. What if I farmed void spirits instead? Mm. No, I think getting the burglar's ring and then void spirit farming is actually way more efficient. Okay, 10, 20 smokers should be done. All right, next we're looking for 11, 10. They take 50 minutes. Oh, there's a big chunk down there. That's good. I'll marry you. Wow, I cannot slay enemies today. And now I'm trapped because I don't have a pickaxe. We got bait and bobber. I already have enough fishing experience. It's not going to do anything. Come on, give me another bunch of dust sprites. Those ones are too far away. How many are on this floor? Only one. Okay, it's 150. Let's grab the smoked fish. And can I grab the smokers? Okay, I can grab the smokers. Good. That was a really close call. I was a little bit worried there. All right, and we had just enough time to get to our chest and grab stuff. Deal pickaxe is ready today. I forgot to craft a scarecrow. Tomorrow's a rainy day. We're catfishing tomorrow. Let's go. That is so lucky. Okay, so tomorrow we catfish and smoke the fish at the same time. Sell them at the end of the day, um, 12 a.m. So what do we do today? Do we just dust sprite farm again? I guess we just keep farming dust sprites today. Should I smoke any other fish? Is it worth it? Probably not. I'd rather save my coal for the high selling fish. Let's water the crops. Oh, and I should probably craft the scarecrow, shouldn't I? Eat the goddamn carrots. I will, I will, I will. I'm gonna eat the carrots now. Carrots are very good. Two will fill up our energy pretty much. We got a snail. Now we just need that last one. Actually, let's bring the crab pot to the beach now. I think that's a good idea to try to get the crab pot last thing. Unless we can get a crab from the mines, but I don't think that's as likely. Although that's going to take a lot of time, and most likely we can get a beach forgeable. But forging the beach is also going to help. Ah, yeah, we'll go to the beach today. Just so we can guarantee completing the crab pot bundle, hopefully tomorrow. Also, our pickaxe is ready, so we're doing two things at once over there, I suppose. Or we can buy one from Willy. Let's buy another crab pot from Willy. That way we have extra chances. And we can buy one from Willy for... How many sheds do we need for a crab pot? We're gonna forge the beach first, so we should have enough time to kill until Willy's opens at nine. How long have I been streaming? Six and a half hours, that's not too bad. We've gotten through quite a bit of days in that time. Meanwhile, Piano Addict's run, he spends like this amount of time on a single day. 
which is impressive. It's super impressive. Oh, cola. Oh, yeah. I'll eat the cola. Got another foraging level. We wake up with full energy tomorrow, which is good. Probably would from combat XP anyway. All right, Willie, give me a crab pot and some bait. All right, good. I know I see the bubbles, but I'm trying my best to ignore the bubbles and just focus on the goal at hand, which is the mines. Oh, pickaxe from Clint. Shoot. All right, reset, reset. What? You can't sell smoked fish to Willy. Oh, well, I guess we know now. I don't want to reset the day, so I'm going to sacrifice some of the chubs. But wow, that is strange. So we have to ship them. Interesting. Why, Willy? You don't like the smoked fish? Did I ruin them for you or something? Maybe because it's artisan good? I can sell them to Pierre? Okay, interesting. But at least we can sell them to somebody. Worst case, I just use those for energy. All right, we have the steel pickaxe now, so that should help a little bit. It's like farming diamonds and stuff. But the main thing is dust sprites now. I went the long way again. Why do I keep doing that to myself? I'm such a streamer noob. We're just farming dust sprites today. We'll grab some iron ore. Don't mind if I do. Do we have ores to smell? Yeah, we do. We got monster compendium, which we've already read. So we're just going to get combat XP. Worst case, I'll force a crab tomorrow, but I don't need to force a crab today. If I don't get what I'm looking for from my crab pot, then I'll force a crab tomorrow from the mines. But it's just a little bit too grindy to do right now. Like, I'd rather do it only as a last resort. I like when they fly towards me as opposed to away from me. Come on, dust spirits. Show yourselves. Why are there so few? Don't be afraid, dust spirits. Just come out outside. Globe? That's so random. I just got a globe. Come on, dust spirits. You shouldn't take this long. I just need more of them to spawn. That's the problem. All right, boss slam for you, Sonata. I got a glow ring. I would have preferred a magnet ring, but I'll take the glow ring. Oh, I missed a diamond on that floor. I hear like one. Yeah, I'm not going down there for one dust sprite. But I need a big bunch. Come on, game. Give me what I'm looking for. All right, that's, uh, that's fine. That's a good amount. I'll take it. I wonder if the burglar's ring's even worth it. It's gotta be worth it. I'm just trying to convince myself it's not because I don't want to grind. I think it's really worth it. Especially if I do any Void Spirit farming, which I will for the Savage Ring, most likely. Alright, 2 a.m. Reasonable. I didn't realize I was going to pass out there, but we're, we're fine. I didn't need to take home the furnaces or anything. We're good. Alright, um... I think that's going to wrap it up then for today. Next time, we're going to be doing some... Um, catching some catfish. Hale, I think, has one or two more days on it. Let's actually check what's in the mail, if anything. Oh, I'll just want to pass out notes. Oh yeah, today should be an insane day of catching catfish for sure. It's a clam. Okay, so we have to force the crab today. Next time, we'll complete some bundles to unlock the desert bus and hopefully take a trip over to Calico Desert in the near future while continuing to grind dust sprites and void spirits for the burglars and savage rings. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.